Ako di si Virgilio Kayuhay. Nagpuyo mi din sa puan. Tiktoranan nga. Ubos gyud. Ora wa gyud ka pangitaan uban. Nya. Ang among panginabuhian, pagtapas lang og uban mga trabaho kon magsuhol. Mao ni ang trabaho, pero utsinta laging adlaw. Adlawan. Nya. Ang among balay guntong ra nang gisasa bitaw kan ng igo lang gisasa niya ang ang dingding dayon sa gisasa ni ang iyang saog gisasa gihapon na siya sa una nga wala pa mi makaangkon rag pagi namo dam nga makaangkon mi ani nga balay ba kay kinabuhi namo sa una sa among balay sa una kan ang murag among pagtulog mo di kay mi katulog ba dili kay namo umpil among pagtulog nga ko ang katungod sa kapin pagmuulan nga tulo-tulo pag abot sa pag abot sa jiki nang pagtrabaho namo din sa isa ka balay tabang gyud mi hangtod na human ang kuan ra gyud ani nagagwanta ra gyud mi kay sa permiro kuan kanang tas-tas gyud among pagagwanta na himi nakaangkon og balay kay tulog gyud ka tuig karon nani among balay mo rag dili na mabahin ang among pangita mangita mi mo trabaho mi ang among target sa among kwarta kaon na lang gili na mi mangandoy pa nga naay balay kay naa nay mong balay although it is our public image gawad kalinga is not just about houses that is a strategy simply for popular branding and easy recall our work is nation building with a clear objective to bring the philippines out of poverty within one generation from 2003 When we launched Gawad Kalinga globally to 2024, 21 years, the platform is basic and simple: land for the landless, home for the homeless, and food for the hungry. They resonate with the most fundamental human aspirations: land for roots and security, home for cover and comfort, and food for sustenance and nurture. Land and houses were the initial focus of the campaign for immediate impact and have gained wide popularity and support because people saw visible and quantifiable results. Filipinos will share their land and donate homes to the poor, which was never done before on a massive scale in the country until Gawad Kalinga came along. Siguro narinig naman niyo, one of our priorities in Bicol is tourism. The gift of the province of Camarines Sur to Gawad Kalinga and maybe to this country that in the province of Camarines Sur we will build the first world-class GK bed and breakfast to promote tourism and livelihood within the GK community, within the province and hopefully in the entire country. They believe in the vision and the credibility of the vehicle. The problem, after all, was not one of generosity, but simply the lack of awareness and the lack of trust. In a land of empty promises and broken dreams, integrity is the counterculture to corruption and hopelessness. The problem of hunger is more urgent and dangerous than land and houses. Children will cry when they are hungry and the parents will riot in the streets when there is no rice on their table. As ordinary citizens, we cannot tell government what to do. Politics in our country is not sensitive to public opinion. Governance in, in our version of democracy is not about leadership, but about winning elections and staying in power. To fight hunger effectively, We must bring our effort to the level of the patriotic and the heroic. It must be a cause of nation building. We must conduct it, it, it as a spiritual battle for God and country. We must be willing to sacrifice pleasure and treasure to save our people from poverty and hunger. What is our plan of battle? While the war against poverty and hunger is global, we must fight local. We must have a strong command post supporting our ground troops. For Central and Northern Luzon, that is the Central Luzon State University. In Southern Luzon, 
our command post is UP Los Baños. While this is the command post, the battle is in the poor towns and communities. Yung away doon sa ground. And the goal is to build a culture of productivity. Every home should be self-sufficient, even with the limited land area. We will ally with the, the local government, not just to do land banking for houses, but also for food sufficiency. We can imagine all this because the GK communities we have built have become platforms for development. What we have done is to liberate the poor from the culture of greed, exploitation, and oppression. We will make it difficult for the people in our rural areas to leave the, their town because they already have land security. A decent home, enough food for their children, trust in their mayor, and pride in their town. Our relationship with these communities are our supply lines in this battle. Our victory will be in showing the world what they will become. The battle plan is clear and simple. First, every home will plant the five basic vegetables for their basic needs, for food sufficiency according to the regional taste and the most nutritious in the food groups. Second, every Gawad Kalinga community in the rural area should have communal and eventually commercial lots for integrated farming. This should include planting of fruit trees and vegetables, poultry, livestock, and aquaculture. We have a simple formula in Gawad Kalinga. One hectare for 100 homes, two to five hectares for food production. Our goal is simple, transforming the attitude of uh, the local residents from being consumers to producers, from survival to sufficiency, from sufficiency to abundance. We thank you for your warm welcome and we thank you for giving us an opportunity to partner with GK and of course the national and local government agencies. Uh, I have to say uh, this is my very first visit to uh, this part of the Philippines and uh, uh, I just have to say looking at the uh, site of the uh, disaster which is obviously uh, you know very impressive the hope that has been created out of this uh, disaster not only hope in terms of uh, you know the uh, uh, the housing that uh, has been erected but also in terms of the uh, more sustainable development in terms of the agriculture and the uh, and the livestock and the fisheries as an AIG person I'm just uh, very proud that uh, our organization has been able to uh, make a very, very small uh, contribution. Our approach to productivity takes after our strategy in building homes. We must have impact. We must have scale and sustainability. You build an outstanding model in a town that has impact. Not only does it provide food sufficiency, but it observes the highest level of creativity and beauty. Then you replicate to other barangays in your town and other towns in your province for scale. So sustainability is the empowerment of the community itself with mentorship coming from CLSU and other institutions for food production with support from the local government units and partners here and abroad. While every community will be a micro development, our goal eventually is to create a macro system for, produ for production, distribution, and even export. But key to all of this, is social justice. We must always remind ourselves who we are fighting for. In fighting for the poor, we are fighting for our children. If we neglect the poor, our children will inherit a country that could not provide them opportunities for a better life. The whole issue for us is not about land or technology, but about caring and sharing. It is about values and our principles. It is about our dreams and our aspirations. This is a battle that we cannot afford to lose. This is a battle that we will fight to the end. Let us go to war now.